Real-time monitoring of tire temps, brake temps, and suspension position was pr previously the stuff that only F1 teams could do. But thanks to the guys at Team Plus, now it's affordable and um, it's available to grassroots, to uh, pro teams even. But it is very affordable, I promise you that. Let's take a closer look at how the system is and how easy it is to install. So the heart of the Team Plus system is the CAN gate. The CAN gate is the brain module that does everything. It has a LCD display where you can look at the tire temps and the gradient in eight positions across the tire. Uh, plus we can look at your tire pressure and your brake temperature all right here. Uh, depending on how you position the sensors, you can also look at your suspension position. Uh, we're not going to use it at this car because um, you know we already have shock pots, but if we didn't, you could put the sensor like right on top of the tire. It'll also give you suspension position. That's a lot of stuff for a, a simple device. Now the uh, CAN gate also has a CAN output. So in our case, we're going to be linking it to this car's MoTeC system and uh, all this data will be available on the MoTeC dash. Finally, the CAN gate has a cell phone modem so it can transfer all the data in real time to your cell phone or iPad. So the car can be going on the track. You can look at all the data in real time. Now that's mind blowing. Um, and the price is so amazing, you wouldn't believe it. Um, there's another feature too, where um, the, the car's position on the track is shown on a uh, track map, and you can kind of play it forward and backward if you want to analyze it later. But you can see where the car is on the track and see what's going on with the tires and brakes. And man, this is so awesome. Now, this is a pro level car. It's a full race car, but don't be discouraged because this system can install in your street car or even your parents' sedan if you want. And it's super easy. Um, let me show you. So the first step to get the system working is to add a TPMS sensor. This uh, will monitor your tire pressure. Now we're running standard inside the tire TPMS sensors, but T Plus also has these real cool, easy to install ones that just uh, replace your uh, valve cap and just kind of screw in like this. Um, you know, we want it to be kind of smoother, so we're actually running the internal one, um, but super easy. So there's um, two sensors that are installed underneath the car. One is the uh, tire temperature sensor. Now it has a uh, broad coverage infrared sensor with a camera that helps you aim it. Uh, this thing is really easy to install. Uh, we have it mounted in the wheel well. We have shock parts here, so we don't need the wheel position function. But if we wanted to log wheel position in the suspension, we would have probably mount the sensor up here. That way uh, the sensor can also see how the suspension's moving. We have another sensor mounted right here this monitors the brake rotor temperature. So real quick and easy, you just mount two sensors, you're ready to go. Uh, you do that for each wheel position, uh, route the wires somewhere inside. There's a uh, voltage converter that uh, steps up the voltage for the uh, CAN gate. Also, um, Team Plus makes a lower priced uh, grassroots sensor that uh, can zip tie in place. So, you know, if you're putting it on your autocross car and your parents' car, whatever, this is really easy to transfer from car to car. It's also uh, cheaper. So here's our front uh, tire sensor. Uh, it's right here. And our brake rotor sensor is over here. Basically, that's it. Hook up your TPMS and your uh, brake rotor sensor and your tire sensor and away you go. Um, wiring simple, straightforward and there's cheaper sensors available too for um, you know your less serious car. But the price is so great um, it's about $1800 believe it or not and um, 
you know, with all the optional sensors, all the bells and whistles, um, it's it's well under three thousand dollars, and I, I just can't believe how cheap this is. It's almost too good to be true. Now I was hoping to get um, some cool video of all the sensors um, and all the data populated from both the uh, CAN gate and our uh, MoTeC, but um, we d we didn't get to test yet, and the car is shipping, so that is going to come later. But I do have some screenshots of that stuff. Uh, your mind will be blown. Um, if you're going to World Time Attack in Australia, come by and uh, you can see this installed on the car and uh, you could probably, hopefully we'll have everything populated and if we have time we could uh, show you. So don't be shy, come by and say hi at World Time Attack and uh, uh, thank you for Team Plus for sending this all out and we can't wait to use this. Um, we'll see you in Australia.